Well, we want to keep things positive on this vlog, like we're saying. Um, but I wanted to share something today that can be kind of kind of a downer, but uh, it has a happy ending. And I want to just show that even in bad things, that we can still get encouragement. And uh, so I'm just going to share a little story about what happened when our barn burned down. So I was just sleeping away soundly, three o'clock in the morning. Arlene was out in Maryland and my phone went off. It was my brother telling me, Dan, your barn's on fire. I threw on my clothes, ran out the door, grabbed a fire extinguisher, which was useless because the barn was fully engulfed and ran out there. Grabbed my cell phone too. Once we got out and saw we couldn't do anything, I reached for my cell phone and it was gone. So I asked my brother Brian to call it. So he called my number and I retraced my steps. And sure enough, there it was down on the ground. And uh, so I picked it up, put it back in my pocket. But as I put it away, I noticed that my radio station, I listened to Pandora, so my radio was going, but it was very low, I could hardly hear it. But I turned it off, put it in my pocket, didn't think anything of it, other than I did notice what song was playing before I turned it off. So, a couple hours for the fire crews to get done with everything they had to do. And then I went back in the house. By then it was after five o'clock. I had to wait for, I didn't want to wake Arlene up calling her with bad news. So I waited till seven when she would be awake before I called her. But then I thought, I'm gonna see what that song was about. I'd heard it before, but never really listened to it. So I, was, I looked it up on YouTube and watching the lyrics, listening to it. Then all of a sudden, it jumped off the screen the lyrics up from the ashes hope will arise i thought lord you wanted to encourage me in the midst of that tragedy you set it up that i would find some kind of encouragement coming out of it and so through all of that we had to go through just held on to those words up from the ashes hope will arise well i walked out here today because where I'm standing right now, if you can see it, it's had some earthwork done here. And uh, where I'm standing, it used to be, I don't know, some kind of a pit, just kind of a ravine, but it went across the hill. Um, they tell me that my grandfather stored um, potatoes here, but it's just always been a, a ravine and not, we always had the intention of filling it in at some point. But uh, this is where we had to bring the bodies of the, the dead sheep that we lost out here. And uh, so there in the pit is covered over smooth now. But uh, like I said, I didn't want this to be a downer, but that was the hardest thing. I've had to go through some hard things all of us do in life. But that particular thing, having to uh, gather up, thankfully, thankfully I had a front end loader on my tractor and uh, could take them one or two at a time up here. But it was a hard job. Don't ever want to have to do anything like that again. But through that process, up from the ashes, hope will arise. Good things are coming out and we're seeing God's faithful hand and what we're going through. So I just shared this today because we're in this crisis, pandemic. No one's ever gone through this before like, like we have, like we're going through as a country right now. Things are happening they've never had to deal with before. And on a personal level, people are gonna go through things. But if we can just keep that focus 
that God is always in control, that good things can come out of bad things. And just, I think the one thing that I take away from that whole experience is just God's care. I mean, my phone didn't have to fall out of my pocket. That radio didn't have to turn on. I didn't have it turned on. I don't know how it came on. And that song didn't have to be playing. I know unbelievers will say, oh, it was just a coincidence. Well, in that case, I'm just glad we have a God who's so good at coincidences because that encouraged me and encouraged Arlene and it helped us get through the hard things and to move forward. So whatever you're going through, keep your eyes open. Look for those little things that God might bring into your life, those little coincidences, and just take encouragement from it. So that's all I wanted to share about right now. Have a good day.